do I say something? Happy Valentine's Day, Tay. Can I have a hug? Have a wonderful day at school. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. Mm. I love you. Oh. And I would kiss some guys, but I think I have struck the rope, so. Good morning, guys, and happy Valentine's Day. I'm still not feeling well, but I'm gonna make the best of it. The twins are putting stickers on their shoe boxes. I wrapped these shoe boxes for them yesterday that they'll have put their Valentine's Day cards in. So they're just decorating them. Ooh, what are you decorating yours with? Um, some of these stickers and oh. these ones, that one's that and, and your hair is quick crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Camden, what are you decorating yours with? With a food box. Oh, but those are stickers. Oh, these stickers and these. Oh. With stuff in it. Yeah, you're going to put your cards in there. The cards you get from your friends. Yeah, no. Oh, so oh I know Oh, one okay. has been stinky and smelly. Oh, feet. From what? From my shoes. But if your feet are stinky because of the shoes, you need new shoes. And guess what I got you? What? New shoes. <laughs> Do you want to wear them today? Yeah, I want to wear them right now. Okay, I went to Target and got them new shoes. Close your eyes. Don't open till I say, ready, set, open. <laughs> what do you think? I think I got one. I I have two. Okay, let's put them on. She's out the way to size 10 now. And then the cams. So he can put them on himself. Dude, you're looking good, Cassie. One hour later. Good official morning, guys. I think I've already said good morning, but I don't quite remember. It is time for Lewis and I to go on a little Valentine's Day date. I'm so excited. I'm wearing this top with some black leggings, and then I'm going to put on my black Ugg boots. And let me see if the man is ready. I was born ready. But we are gonna go grab a bite to eat because I am starving. The cleaning people are coming, so that means when I get home, I'll have a really, really, really clean house, which makes me so happy. It's already somewhat clean, you guys. You guys know me. I keep things together. She just does like a deep cleaning. Stuff I just don't have time for. And I'm not bougie, I'm not like that. When you're a mama four, you just kind of think of where you want to spend your time and I rather have extra time to spend with my kids and all of that rather than like deep, deep cleaning. So she does that. We are going to head off. Let's do this. All yours are my babies. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you, you're so cute. You are so cute. <laughs> It hurt me. I think I lost about a year of my life on that one. Ouch. Ouchie, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Oh. I shut it, I've done that. See, I was born ready, mama. Let me put my... Okay. We out, skis? We out. Aw, <laughs> uh, you wanted to open the door? <laughs> Guys, he's being such a gentleman. 
That's so sweet of you. It's like when we first started dating. Hey, go buy something. Oh, he gave me my own card back <laughs> that he used to buy something. <laughs> well, now that's the rest of the story. Where are we gonna go and eat? A few moments later. All right, so we are just talking about the vlogs and what we want them to look like as soon as we get caught up because right now we're probably five behind so that will probably take me a couple days just to get caught up so my goal is by Monday the start of Monday for us to be all caught up oh my gosh you guys I've been waiting so long for this but we're just sitting here talking about what we want the vlogs to be like if we want to become daily vloggers if we want to become Monday through Friday vloggers. And what do you think about that, Lou? Well, I think, yeah. uh, I think we, you know, I mean, we were talking about it being, you know, a legacy uh, for our kids that way. That's the whole reason we started this, is to leave a legacy for our children, so. We, we, not, we do not know the day nor the hour that our time may come, so therefore, if we can shorten the learning curve a little bit and show how our life is and, and you know the things that we do that are right and some of the things that we do that are wrong and maybe we can kind of how they were that. raised yeah um, deconstructing our belief systems you know and understanding our place in this world and our purpose and there's a lot to it and right now our kids don't necessarily understand that being able to document it talk about it like this like what we're doing we're uh, capturing that for them to see down the road. So when it comes to how we're capturing our content and then putting it out there uh, for them to find, for them to see, yeah, do we do it on a daily basis? My thought of it all is to become daily vloggers. The reason being is I wanna show our kids our day-to-day -day life, but then I also want them to see the good and the bad and if we're only recording on days where it's the good, are they ever gonna see the days that we're just lounging around doing nothing? You know what I mean? I think you can still create content because people wanna see the, the real us, right? What I think is, yeah, I, I think it's good to, to look at everything and how we, the challenges that happen in our lives and by doing that on a daily basis, that's the only way that we can have a, a record of it for them. Yeah. I wish I could have had the ability to go back and be like, man, what happened when I, you know, how many problems do we carry as adults that all stemmed from our past? So if we were to able to go back and see, well, when did I develop that? Or when did I start that? Or when did I get this fear of the dark? Or when did I get the fear of death? Like I am so afraid of death. Like I am deathly afraid of death. And I would love to know if something happened in my life that caused me to be fearful of death. Because there had to have right. been something, right? Well, or, think about it like this. As children, we lose our innocence. Sorry guys, this point. road is so bumpy. I can't even tell you how bumpy this road is. So if the vlog it, is like, we're like around a roller coaster, that's why. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's uh... If we could go back and see that, then that would be amazing because I could say, well, I'm afraid of death because this happened to my life. And it's an unresolved issue. Exactly. Right. Maybe. People pay big bucks for this to go back and to try to solve their problems. But 99% of the time, all we have to do is realize that it's not a problem. No. That we're just seeing it as an obstacle that we have never figured out a way to get past. And so it's been recurring in our lives. Yeah. For us, this conversation alone is worth weight in the sense that our kids have this documented now that says, hey, it's not just about that. I mean, we're not, we're only doing what our parents did to us as parents, right? Yeah. And we were only lucky enough to be born in the families that we were, that we had parents that loved us and treated us with fairness and respect. So in order to try to shorten that learning curve, we've, we've got to highlight the difficulties of adulthood we're all here occupying space and time 
And right now we're gonna occupy and right, space and time at Frankie's Cuisine. We are going to Frankie's to eat. They have very, very yummy Mexican food. And then we are going to go to the ice cream shop. The ice cream shop right next to it. Have a little date, make out a little bit. And have the baby with us. <laughs> and Thanks for being my person. He's my person, guys. <laughs> Who would have ever thought so that years so later weird. we would be here, four kids. I mean, come on. Look at the sign, babe. Come on. Come on. I mean, come on. Come on, come on. So we are going to head into Frankie's. This is Frankie's. There's the ice cream shop. Ooh. <laughs> oh. And then that's my view. <laughs> that's my view. <laughs> Nico got the... Shrimp fajitas and that steam that's rising. And there's our dog. Say hey to Daddy in here. Say hi. Say it's my first Valentine's Day and I'm teaming. You grab it? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna eat and this is my fun date. What kind did you get? Oreo and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it right now. Mm -hmm. How was your ice cream? It's delicious. I love you. Love Happy you. Valentine's Day. You know what, babe? Why? I'm gonna give you the moon one day. You're gonna give me the I'm moon? I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna steal <laughs> the moon and I'm gonna give it to you. Nobody can claim, stake claim to it. Build an army on it. I Sue liked me. going out to lunch. Thanks for making time for me and not standing me up. <laughs> Make some time for you, babe. You've kind of stood me up the last couple times. Go babe, this way, it's faster. Babe, I know where to go, babe, but I don't make time for you. I have to peel myself away from you so I can do the other things that need to be done. But you have my time. You are my time. You are my rhyme. You are this fine. <laughs> You're good, babe. You're good. You're so fine. I'm gonna make you mine. Oh, <laughs> oh the pie. <laughs> babe. What? what, um. I think we need to go to the store. Because, uh. I kind of think <laughs> that I'm pregnant. Oh, is that what you think? Yeah. <laughs> from the sick day yesterday. Let's go. I don't know. Shit. I'm just, my body's feeling a little off and I don't know if it's feeling off because of my throat hurting a little bit, but my throat doesn't hurt like it did last night. But I'm like on the like verge of like. Tossing. Like I feel like I'm gonna get sick again. Mm -hmm. Girl, babe. I, I know when it was if it is. We're pregnant. I'm never having sex with my husband again. <laughs> very effective. Very, 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 very effective. So yeah, this Valentine's Day <laughs> may just get a little bit more interesting. Chaos! People are gonna be like, oh hell no, you guys are crazy. <laughs> oh hell no. Nah. I would be actually very, very sad. What? Yeah, I would be very sad. You would be very sad yeah. if we brought another being into this world. Yeah, I would feel so. like I haven't had enough time with Lincoln. Oh my God, I could cry. He's my baby. Oh my gosh. Babe, life happens. Tatum wants your baby. Our life is a little crazy though. <laughs> That would be a whole hell of a lot crazy. You know what? But maybe we'll be telling our kids on Valentine's Day they're having a brother or sister. I don't know. I don't necessarily think I am, but there's a little bit that, that I'm getting that little nauseous feeling that like... I mean, if anybody should know, she would know. Right? Been there, done that. So that means I'm going to have to get back to work when I get home. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel a little off. But I don't know, maybe it's the sickness. Kids, you're gonna look back and think, man, my dad was a crazy fool. <laughs> that was crazy. 
But you know what? There's one life to live. You get one shot at it. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. You might as well do it the best that you can. And when I say do it, I don't mean sex. I just mean life. Just do life. Babe, how, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being certain that you're pregnant, what would you say your gauge is? My gauge is that probably 50-50, so probably out of 5. I just feel a little off, but I don't know if it happened to do with the stomach flu yesterday, because uh, I was very, very, very... <laughs> very poopy and very nauseous yesterday um, and then Professor Poopy Pants <laughs> and then today I just I still like this morning and then coffee hasn't sounded like the greatest I'm drinking it and that's usually the first thing is I get nauseous and coffee just is not appetizing. I wonder whether I'm gonna put something in there. I put that sticker on that car. <laughs> <laughs> I washed the, yep, I washed that windshield this weekend, guys. Oh, they got all kinds. They got the, the sticker sticker. They got the. Hey guys, you know what I did when I did the charity event? I put stickers on cars. And I put that sticker on that car right there, right there. <laughs> I'm sure the checkout person, if I was buying a pregnancy test and saw somebody buy it, wouldn't the first thing, is this exciting time or is it a little nerve wracking? Do I say something? Do I not say something? Do I say something? So let's find out. The one that just tells you. That sounds good. All right guys, got the goods. Let's go home and pee on the test. And let's just hope it's negative. Oh my gosh. You guys, I would freak out. You know exactly when it would have happened though. I know just as well as you know. That one time. Of course I do. Who's taking a pregnancy test in a library? Because <laughs> if I'm pregnant, I can't scream. <laughs> She's gonna be like. And I can't open this. Lou. I was impersonating you not being able to scream. Okay. Oh yeah, I see your dilemma. Yeah, it does sound open easy. Well guys, we are at the library. We're going to the place that we want to find out where the baby is. <laughs> no, Louie wants pregnant. a book. <laughs> so we were trying to buy time going to the library and we decided why not take the test in the library. <laughs> All right guys. So nervous, I'm like shaking. God has a plan for us, and if this is our plan, we'll do what we have to do. It's not my time that I would want, but we'll figure it out. A few moments later. And we're in a library. Are you ready to look at this? Where's it at? Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. What do you want to say? I just want to say, guys, I just want to say, I don't know. Let's see what they say. Let's see if I'm looking. I want to make sure you have to hear them. You want to let them see first? I hope it. You didn't show it. You didn't show it. You were too high. You saw the bottom of your head. Don't like. Don't like. Don't like. Don't like. I can't. I can't see. It's not. It's not focused. You have music on. Right, you ready? Oh, I do have places. I can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank God. That was scary. Alright, we're still in the library. Happy's trying to look for a book. While I'm posting on Instagram. You guys want to see him? <laughs> And then Lincoln sleeping of the I Chi. Oh, good job! All I'm a little right. bit disappointed. What? Gotta admit, so I'm not gonna get none tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't touching me. <laughs> oh, 
as much as we want our family to always grow and be a big family, it is nice to We're know. We're very happy right now. Yeah. We're very happy. We're very busy already. We didn't I don't need, have enough time in a day. We didn't need to throw a pregnant woman in the mix. <laughs> All my cravings. He doesn't have time for that. <laughs> Plus, I want to be able to love a Lincoln more. God only gives you what you can handle, right? Yep, Am I and, right? And God knew we could not handle this right now. <laughs> Two hours later. It has been so cold here and today it is beautiful. So we figured it's Valentine's Day. Well, it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day to go on a walk, but might as well spend some family time together since we love each other. And Tatum wants to bring his basketball. So we're gonna go to the school and hang out. And look at our sissy girl. I love your helmet. You are like a kitty. Meow. Meow. Watch this. What? Whoa. Whoa. Behind the head. to the park with the basketball hoops and there's these three little boys playing so Tatum's waiting with daddy to play and Cassidy comes over and she goes oh mommy these guys they're gonna love me <laughs> I swear she says the darndest things and then she's like can I play with them can I play with them guys they're so cute look at them playing it's the cutest thing ever these little boys are so sweet to them they're like, go easy on her. She's a girl. And then they got on their knees. Are you chewing on your toe? You say hi? Huh? Yeah. Are you eating those fingers? Are they yummy? Oh, he's teething so bad. He's gonna get his first teeth soon. Look at this Julie mess. Little man wanted out of the stroller. Say, I don't want to be in the stroller anymore. I think we're gonna have to start bringing his bigger stroller where he can sit up, cause that's what he wants to do. He does not want to lay down. Huh? You want to touch the camera? Say hi. Oh. 